Google is apparently ready to dip their toes back into the video game business. And that's considering the epic launch and failure that was Google Stadia, but it would seem that the company has dusted off their gloves and are willing to try it again. Now this report comes from Miles Krupa over at the Wall Street Journal, who says that based off an internal email that was sent out to Google employees that Wall Street Journal was given a copy of, Google has recently invited employees employees to begin testing a new YouTube product called Playables. For the most part, I mean, the details here are, are pretty blurry, but according to the Wall Street Journal, YouTube Playables will apparently allow users to access video games through YouTube on mobile devices or computers. And this is where it kind of gets weird, right? Because on one hand, you have Google Stadia, which was a disaster for Google and simply put just a failure for the company. However, on the other hand, then you've got Google's Android Play Store, which is wildly successful. I mean, I think the last reported number that I saw was somewhere along the lines of the Google Play Store having 2.5 billion active users. And in 2022 alone, over 300,000 video games were uploaded to the Google Play Store. So when you see the failure on this end and the wild success on this end, I mean, it's kind of understandable as to why Google hasn't given up on the video game business just yet. Now, the Wall Street Journal continued to explain that Google employees are currently testing a game called Stack Bounce, which according to the description, I mean, it sounds like it's the old Brick Breaker game. But according to the email, the game can be accessed directly from YouTube.com or through the YouTube app using Android or iOS devices. The Wall Street Journal, of course, reached out to Google for a statement and Google responded saying, gaming has long been a focus at YouTube. We're always experimenting with new features, but have nothing new to announce right now. And I gotta level with you guys, because based off of what we're reading about YouTube playables, it, it doesn't really sound like this is gonna be Stadia 2.0. Like, a lot of gaming media is kind of building this to be. I mean, in my opinion, YouTube playables sounds a whole lot more like an improvement to Google Ads more than anything. Like through YouTube Playables, developers will be able to put demos of their games or mobile developers will be able to embrace the TikTok, Facebook styles of interactive ads. And now we've got those on YouTube because you can play games on YouTube. But the reason I don't think this is really going to be Stadia 2.0 is because YouTube Playables will likely not have a store where you can buy games because that proved to be super complicated for Google Stadia. I also doubt that we're actually gonna see a, a triple A push of like, we're gonna acquire studios and we're gonna create exclusive content for YouTube Playables because again, that was just such a massive complication for Stadia. And when you think about YouTube gaming and like who this would appeal to, the YouTube gaming audience feels more like a casual gameplay audience. Similar to how we're seeing like Netflix get into gaming and even cloud gaming right now. You know, no one is comparing Netflix to Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo right now. Like they're kind of doing their own thing. And, and I could totally see Google and YouTube do something along these lines where they're like, yeah, we got games. You know, we're not trying to be the next PlayStation or Xbox. We're just here if you want to play games with your friends. That being said, you know, as somebody that fully embraced Google Stadia and kind of went down with this ship uh, and enjoyed it while it lasted, Google as a gaming provider is heavily tarnished. And uh, if Google is going to get back into gaming, specifically streaming video games, via YouTube. Then YouTube Playables needs to do everything humanly possible to be different than Stadia was. If anything, YouTube Playables needs to be the anti-Google Stadia. Are you listening?